everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Tony, if you didn't already know. And I'm so fucking excited! Ah! Finally doing a aerial inspired look. If you know me, you know that I am completely and utterly obsessed with The Little Mermaid. It's... It, it's something. Let me tell you. I have a whole bunch of shit. Like, I'm, I'm just, I'm just going to show you really quick. I have this piggy bank that my husband got me. It's sparkly. Oh, I love this. She's so pretty. She's my favorite. Why is my kitty yelling at me? He just, he wants attention. I have this little baby. I'm not even going to try and lie to you guys right now. I did not use this in this tutorial. I more use it for decoration than anything because I have little shelves up around my little area. So Ariel, my Ariel piggy bank, she sits up on a shelf and then this sits up right next to it. And then I have a plaque of Ariel sitting over there. And then I have this. Oh, wait, I'm not done. And last, but most certainly not least, how long and cute is he? Oh, I love him. Oh. So anyway, we hope that you love this tutorial and I will see you at the end. So I've already went ahead and did my brows. I also did my foundation, concealer, and powder. And along with that, I also just went ahead and primed my eyes so that we could just go ahead and jump right in to this look. So. First, I'm going to use this shade, Vibrant Red. This one is by Coastal Scents. And I'm going to use this with my Wet n Wild blending brush. I'm just gonna go ahead and work that into my crease. It's so weird putting a like bright color in my crease for as a transition color. This does not have to be put on perfectly because, as I said, this is just a transition color. We're going to be putting darker shades on top of this. This is just what I'm going to use to blend them all out and make them look smooth. That's pink, not red! Hate when they lie to me like that. Wah. On that same Wet n Wild blending brush, I'm going to go ahead and use Pomegranate Red. This one is also by Coastal Scents. This one's even more red, hopefully. Let's, let's, I hope it's more red. I've never used these colors before, so I've had them, I've just never used them. So I'm just going to go ahead and go right over top of that vibrant red with this Pomegranate Red. Keeping it just a little bit lower because, as I said, I do want to use that vibrant red as a transition color, and hopefully this pomegranate red will turn it more red than pink. I am bringing this all the way in because I kind of, I don't want it to be dramatic really, but I just, I want it to be smoky, I guess, is the word that I'm looking for. For the lid, I'm going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette. And in this, I'm going to use Venetian Red on my lid with my Wet n Wild Shadow Brush. And I'm just going to pack that onto my lid. up that crease I'm gonna to stick to my Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette and I'm gonna go into red ochre with this small Luxie blending brush and I'm just focusing this in the crease just using windshield wiper motions for this so that I know that I am staying in my crease and then to blend all that out, I'm going to go back in with that pomegranate red color and my Wet n Wild blending brush. And I'm just going to go right over the red ochre and just blend it out. Just to 
blend that out a little bit more and make it a little bit more smooth on the top, I'm going to take a clean Molly blending brush and I'm just gonna go right over it. There's absolutely nothing on this brush. I'm just smoothing out any edges. I don't like harsh edges at all. Like, I want it to look like it's melted into my skin and part of my skin. Like, I just, I just grew red eyelids this morning. For the lower lash line, I'm gonna go ahead and use this beautiful shimmery purple color. This one is from Morphe and it's called Glamorous. With that, I'm going to be using this angled brush. I got it off of Amazon. And I'm just going to take that right on my lower lash line and just buff that on there. So this isn't exactly like giving me the color payoff that I want. So I'm gonna go in with just a tiny, tiny, tiny little bit of the NYX Glitter Glue Primer and see what that does because I've heard that it helps with shimmer colors. Dab it underneath my eye where I want all that purple to be intensified. Oh yeah, that's better. Much, much, much better. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's not as, as dark as I want it to be, so I'm gonna go in with this antique lilac shade also from coastal scents and i'm just gonna go on this anastasia brush the one that came with the modern renaissance palette it just looks like a regular smudger pencil brush all of my pencil brushes are dirty that's why i'm using this one <laughs> and i'm just gonna run the antique lilac right underneath my lash line that's much better that's more of what i was going for and then back in with that glamorous color on that fluffy angled brush, just blending out that antique lilac. And then I'm just going to blend this purple color up into, not over into the red, but just to, you see what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> clean up any mess that I've made because I'm good at that. I'm just gonna take a damp sponge and some translucent powder. Okay, and while that translucent powder is doing its magic and erasing my mistakes, I'm gonna go in with this Pure Minerals Double Ego Liner. This thing's so cool. One end is a felt tip liner, and one end is a pencil. This is in the color teal, I believe. Oh, no, this one's called Queez, Queez, called Queensland, and it's just a really pretty, like, tealy, bluey, greeny. I'm gonna use the pencil in my waterline. Ow, right after I poke myself. And then I'm going to take the felt tip end and I'm going to do a wing. If you wanna see how I do this wing and you want a full explanation, go ahead and check out my last video and it's on all about wing liner, all about it. Your really pretty, turquoisey, tealy, greeny, bluey wing. I'm gonna go ahead and go off camera and do the other one. So something really cool just happened. Um, when I was doing this wing, I messed up. That's, that's not new, I always mess up. Anyway, so I did my little trick with the concealer and a tiny flat brush. And I realized that like when I went like over it, 
it turned a lighter, prettier blue. It's that color instead of that color. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do this over here. That way it also doesn't look as uneven because this one is kind of smudgy and I did that on purpose because I wanted to do it over here too because it's so pretty. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you really quickly how I did that. Just some concealer on this little Wet n Wild liner brush. You can use any flat brush, just this is the one that I have that's clean because I need to clean my brushes because I'm a lazy bitch and I don't want to. I'm going to take this and I'm going to just run it along here. And then I'm just gonna dab away. And then going over it to take some of that yellow from the concealer out. I didn't do all the liner because I, I like the effect that it gives it and since it's aerial and I wasn't like this I thought this liner was a lot more green but anyway since it's aerial and this liner isn't as green as I thought it was it looks like the ocean blue and now just to make sure that I do have that little pop of green in there just a little bit because I feel like if I didn't I would not be doing my princess justice so i'm going to hop over to the morphe 35c palette and i'm going to mix these two greens together on this royal and lang nickel omania detail brush <laughs> very lightly tapping into those colors because i really don't want a whole lot of green payoff i just want to put a little bit in there because there's none in there and it's just not fair so I'm going to just smudge this right underneath the, ow, ow. I'm gonna put it in my eye, apparently. <laughs> I'm just going to run this right underneath the waterline. Not blending it out into the purple, but I just want to put something in. I'm going to curl my lashes with my eyelash curler. I'm gonna go in with this Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, but this one, this one is purple. This is the one that came with the Nikki and Too Faced Power Makeup Collection. All over my lashes. I just think that it would be super fun if Too Faced did like a whole crap load of colors. Ew. Oh, there we go. That's better. I guess I should have done that before. Okay, and now for cheeks, I'm going to start with my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer on my Wet n Wild powder brush. For contour, I'm gonna go in with my Kevin Aquan Medium Sculpting Powder, my Wet n Wild Angled Contour Brush. And to sharpen that up a little bit, I'm just going to For blush today, I'm gonna go ahead and go into this Coastal Scents. Uh, let's go. The Coastal Scents Blush and Bronzer Mini Palette, and I'm gonna go into the lighter pink blush right here on my Real Techniques blush brush. And I am starting at the apples of my cheeks, blending it back into my bronzer. Now I'm just going to brush away that translucent powder that I put underneath. For highlights today, I'm going to go in with my Wet n Wild Illuminating Palette. And I'm going to go in with the two lightest shades right here.
They're like, it's like up there with Becca Pearl. It's, it's up there. Like, do you see that? A little bit on the forehead, a little bit on the tip of my nose. And I'm just going to go in with the pink one for my Cupid's bow. And this is the final look. Um, for the lips, I decided to go in with Jeffree Star 714. Um, I really, really like this lip. It does take a couple coats for me. Um, it's not as opaque as I would like it to be for the first coat. So I ended up having to go in and just dab a second coat on there, which doesn't necessarily bother me, but I'd rather not because with it being a matte lip, it does make my lips a little bit more dry but whatever it looks cute these extensions are from vp fashion they are so good like it's real hair so you ain't gotta worry about it being synthetic and melting or whatever when you style it and you can wash them and you can dye them and you can get them in like millions of different colors and different color combinations it's just I love that site. I'll, I'll link it down below. Um, but yeah, that's where I got this hair from. I haven't been able to wear it in a long time. so, And I really wanted to. Because for an aerial inspired look, you need long mermaid hair. That's it for this video, you guys. I really hope that you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel before you leave. And don't forget to like this video if you did. And let me know down in the comments below what other Disney princesses you want to see. So far, I've done Jasmine on my Facebook page. And I think next, I'm going to do a Sleeping Beauty. So, ee, that should be fun. I'm so excited. So, yeah, I will see you guys on the next one. Mwah. Bye.